Hey, you were up early this morning. Oh, yeah. Then I'll thank little Miss Bailey for that one. Oh. Well, good thing she's cute, huh? Yeah, that's right. She's already on her first nap, so. Oh, I thought Valentine took the morning shifts. He does. He's actually helping to search for um, Maxie's baby. Oh, my gosh, she must be losing her mind right now. Yeah, I can only imagine. Anyways, in some um, more uplifting news, Chase is alive. Yay! For him and for you guys. Now you can drop this whole charade and finally get back together. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the plan. So why do you look so miserable? It's all just a lot to process, you know? What this means, what comes next. What comes next is you tell Chase the truth about you and Michael, and then everybody can go back to living their lives. Mm, that's a little simplistic, don't you think? Uh, maybe, but it's still what needs to happen. Chase just crawled his way out of a death sentence, Brooklyn. Yeah, that's right. You know, the first thing he asked me was to throw him a wedding reception in that rose garden right over there. So, no pun intended, but you guys need to nip this lie right in the bud as soon as possible. What do you think? We're in this together. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. I just, I just, I don't feel like I can say anything. Because let's face it, I'm the big winner here, right? We love each other, and I'm secure in that. And I can't tell you if or when you should tell Chase. You know, I can tell you that I'll be waiting for you. You know, waiting as long as it takes. Chase is worthy of loving someone and having that love returned. He deserves to know. I'm just so scared of hurting him. <laughs> to see that look on his face when he realizes it wasn't real. I wish I could do it for you. Or at least do it together. You can't. And the longer I avoid it, the worse I'm making it, so. Good luck, Willow. Thanks. Chase, do you have him? What's wrong? It's my legs. I can't walk. 